hello and welcome back to the new video of the maven tutorial series uh, so in the previous video we we have actually started with uh, creating a new project using maven and that too in a eclipse uh, not eclipse uh, intellij idea ide uh, so i hope you have uh, watched the previous video and you got some idea how to create a maven project inside intellij idea you can use any any ide of your choice uh, but uh, for this tutorial series i have chosen intellij idea uh, okay so you can use anyone uh, so i hope you watched that previous video where we have talked about the dependencies how we create the dependencies in our pom.xml file why pom.xml file is necessary uh, to create and what is the importance of it so now uh, we in this video we will uh, focus give focus on this plugin sections okay so we have done with the life cycle we have done with the de dependencies now for this video we will start with plugins all right so let's go okay so let's understand the theoretical past first okay the maven plugins are central part of the maven framework it is used to perform specific goal according to according to apache maven there are two types of maven plugins okay so to perform a specific task maven has created uh, apache maven has created frameworks uh, or they or they call them as plugins so to so you can use that plugin and uh, perform some tasks uh, for the uh, for which they are they have they are created right so basically there are there are two types of plugins in uh, maven one is build plugin and one is reporting plugin okay so what are build, build plugins these these are these plugins are executed at the time of build okay so when you are executing when you are building your uh, project these uh, the pro the plugins which are used in, are known as plugins build plugins and the reporting plugins are these plugins are executed at the time of site generation when your site is actually or the project or when your project is getting generated and the plugins at that the at that time the plugins which are required are known as the reporting plugins we'll see uh, each one uh, one by one okay so let's go and check what are the maven core plugins okay uh, so here you can see uh, these are some uh, Maven core plugins. Uh, first one is clean. Uh, what it does is uh, clean up the after build. Okay, so uh, if I will give you an example. Okay, we will see one by one. Right, uh, so inside my plugins folder, you can see clean. Okay, so this is our first clean plugin. Uh, so plugin. Uh, here you can see clean, clean, clean help. If you double tap on clean help, it will uh, give you the this. Uh, you can see. Okay, so it's like a help you can see uh, it, it will tell you what it does is clean clean is the goal which cleans the build the, this attempt to clean a project working directory of the that were generated at that build time okay and if you double click on clean clean uh, so to demonstrate this first I have to build this project okay so to build uh, I will go inside my lifecycle and double click on install uh, so that my target uh, folder will get uh, created over here you can see a uh, target folder will get created uh, okay each time when i uh, run the lifecycle uh, command uh, install uh, the target folder will get created in, in, and inside which all our uh, files are there and what clean does is it will remove or deletes the previous build okay so to remove this this is our now previous build okay and now some changes i have done over here i, I may imagine i have done i have de added dependencies i have done some project work and, and now i have to again uh, generate that so before generating that i will clean i will double click on this it will again run that command now you can see target folder will get removed uh, since uh, the clean command will clean up the after build okay and the compile what the compiler does is it compiles the java source code okay so these compile compile here you can see so our next plugin is compiler uh, it will it will compile all the java files like here you can see a main.java file is there it will compile th those java files and create the dot class files for the respective java files okay and next is deploy deploys the artifact to the remote repository okay so uh, in our previous video also we have discussed what is local remo uh, repository and what is re remote repository okay so uh, so what the deploy command does is it will deploy not command it plugins what does it the, what it does is deploys the artifact to the remote repository okay and fail safe is runs the j unit integration uh, tests with the isolated class hold, uh, class loader so isolated class loader uh, you can see what uh, this command does is 
uh, okay so uh, generated uh, classes are there generated sources are there okay uh, so what it does is uh, it install uh, runs the junit integration test so the testing part of our project is done uh, using that plugin fail safe and to when next come install it installs the build artifact into the local repository okay and uh, then resources uh, uh, plugin is there which copies the re resources to the output directory for including in the jar okay so if you if i go here and uh, i will check resources okay resources plugin is there so you can see uh, again there are so many uh, here resources uh, copy resources resources health resources resources and resources test resources uh, i will run one command for you so that you can understand okay so this command is uh, run okay uh, so now next command is site it generates a site for the current project okay the, so the site command is it generates one site for our current projects that we are working with okay so if i go here and click site site again in a lot of work it will do it will download from the central repository of maven uh, all the required things and after that uh, it is a long process for, for the first time when you run this okay and i, I might get one error uh, because i have not set up this project uh, till now okay so we will do that in our upcoming videos so the purpose of this uh, video is just to uh, understand what are the plugins and available in the maven okay so again these are the two rest of the uh, plugins are there which are also uh, one is j unit uh, and it's verifies the existence of the certain conditions so the condition that we did define and it, it is useful for the integration testing so to understand this plugin you have to know oh, first what is integration testing what is testing also unit testing also so okay so we will cover all this uh, when we are at the uh, ending part of this uh, series because there we have one one project where we are uh, has done some work in, in that project and we are trying to test that project using this uh, plugins also okay and so i hope uh, for this video you have understood what are maven plugins what it does and why they are important inside maven okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one